All right. So, uh, so what is a life at tribal scale? You know, uh, like what makes you think that you would like to work at a place like tribal scale? Uh, so for that, uh, this is this is just a uh, session about all of that. And at the end, like we'll be open to take a few questions by all of you. Uh, so Jen, can we go to the next slide, please? Yep. So what is the agenda for today's session? Uh, we would be giving you an intro to tribal scale, then how do we mentor co-ops and how do we work with the co-ops and how do we work among ourselves? What are the company cadences? And then last but not the least, uh, about our socials. How do we maintain our social life and how do we, you know, make sure that we connect with each other personally as well as professionally? Uh, can we go to the next one? Yeah. So uh, this is an intro to the tribal scale. So what do we do here basically? So tribal scale is a digital agency and we build uh, software for clients based on, uh, you know, their requirements. Some of these projects might be greenfield projects, which means that we build the projects right from the scratch. Uh, other times we might take up an existing project and we help the client with transforming it into something uh, better, much better, you know. So usually what happens is that, you know, a client has their own requirements and they come to us and they tell us that, okay, this is our vision. We want to turn it into, you know, a product, which an end product, which a user can use. Uh, so we, let we help them like our specialists at tribal scale we help them with all the latest technologies that we can use and what will be more useful for their projects other times the clients come to us with an existing project and they tell us that okay this is something that we already have but we think that the users uh don't see this feature as useful so instead of this what do you suggest you know we can do so in that case our specialists help with uh, we do our own research and we help the clients with transforming that project into, you know, something much more user friendly, something which even, you know, we would, we ourselves would like to use. Uh, so we take care of everything as if, you know, in a very personal way, as if it's not a professional project, it's more like, you know, what at the end would we like to use it as a user. So our mission, our main mission is to write the future. It means that we want to build the products that will enhance the overall human experiences in all times and places. So in today's time, it's all about, you know, uh, using the websites or whether whatever information you need, you just go to Google, you type it and you know, the, uh, you go to the website. But if the interface of that website is not user friendly, like none of us would like to go there and look at it really. So that means we have lost half of the user base there. So in that case, what we do is we at Tribal Scale, we have got a great team of UI designers as well as engineers. We help to suggest the client uh, that, you know, okay, instead of using this specific layout, maybe we can go for something which is much, which is much more easier to look at, which is not too bright and which is easier maybe uh, for a specific user base, depending on the project that we are building. And uh, that helps in enhancing the human experience. Uh, can we go to the next slide, please? So how do we mentor the co-ops? Uh, the first thing that, uh, the first and foremost thing that we take care of is uh, pair programming. So what is pair programming? Pair programming is something where, you know, you pair with, uh, as a co-op, you get tons of mentorship uh, directly from an intermediate or senior software engineer. Uh, so now you would be thinking like, why is that helpful for me? You know, I'm a co-op probably, uh, you know, I should learn something to do by myself. And if there's an intermediate person, then, you know, they might do all the work by themselves, but it's not like that. So one of the major benefit is that you get to drive uh, on the client projects. So you are the one who would be coding on the client projects. You are the one who can voice your opinion and you can take part in uh, other pairs as well. So let's say if today you are pairing with one uh, intermediate uh, software engineer, but next day you would rotate and you might uh, be doing coding with some other engineer. So this makes sure that you get rotated with all the people in the team. That means you get a whole lot of ideas about the, uh, of, about the way of approach that we use while coding, as well as you get the whole picture of the project. So the notable uh, benefits of pair programming are preventing silos and being part of a full project. That means when you rotate, you see the whole picture of the project. You are not just working on one module. You know what is uh, what is work. Uh, sorry, you know what is uh, being implemented in all the parts of the projects. 
And, uh, and also since you have complete knowledge of all the functionalities, this means that you have a strong hand in ownership and whatever work you are delivering and which makes it an easier onboarding process to any new project that we are working on. Um, can we go to the next one? So how do we work? Oh, this one I think is me yeah. now, Tripti. Yeah, I'll pass it on to Jan for this one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so next I wanna talk about how we work at Travel Scale. Um, so as we know, it's not just important to be able to code, but it's also important to be able to manage our relationships with the people that we're building our products for. And so in order to do this, we put an emphasis on the agile cadences that a lot of you guys are probably already familiar with, like stand-ups, retros, story acceptances, and iteration planning meetings. Um, for those that aren't familiar, basically a stand-up is a meeting at the beginning of the day where you meet with the ex um, usually the client, but sometimes we have an internal one and an external one. And what you do is you talk about what you did yesterday, what you plan to do today, and anything you anticipate will block you. We also have the retro meetings, which is a meeting that we do every one or two weeks where we basically discuss what went wrong or well, not so much just what went wrong, but try to what went good, what we're confused about and what went wrong. And we use that feedback in order to improve everything um, in the coming week. We do story acceptances, and this is one of my favorite cadences because with story acceptances, we get to actually show the client what we've built. So at every point along the way, the client can actually see what we're doing and they can see whether or not like they like something or they don't like it, and then we can iterate um, based on that. Uh, finally, we have iteration planning meetings, and those meetings are used in order to determine the work that we're going to do for the next week. So at Travel Scale, communication is really important, um, particularly over communication. So as we're together in a group, um, if you're a co-op, you get to pretty much participate at the same level as any of us in all these different meetings. And it's a really good sort of way to make your voice heard and to say things that matter in the different projects that we do. As Tripti said earlier, there's kind of two types of projects. There's greenfield projects and there's ones that are already existing where we integrate into the other company's team. When we do the greenfield projects, we pretty much just do travel scale cadences right off the bat. There's no reason to not do them. So uh, we do them right away. However, when we integrate with other companies, we have to kind of be an advocate for good software best practices. And so we try our best to integrate as many of these cadences as we, as we can into uh, what the clients are doing. And so that's kind of part of the job too, is not only just doing programming, but also teaching people how they can be better programmers uh, that are their clients. Basically, um, as I kind of said earlier, you'll be placed as part of a high performance team during the project um, and you get to actually be part of that team and you get to contribute as if you were kind of an equal to anyone else. Another fun thing to talk about, I think, is the tools that we actually work with at Tribal Scale. I think uh, as co-ops and particularly co-ops going into um, an agency like Tribal Scale, you're probably looking more to be a practical developer more than you are a researcher. And so you probably want to work on some really relevant tools and technologies. And the good news is here that we've used pretty much everything that you'd be want to use. Um, React, React Native, uh, iOS, Android, Node.js, Java, and some Go. Um, I would say that our JavaScript projects are probably the most popular ones. So if you're doing anything in the, um, if you take on a project at tribal scale, most likely it'll probably be in the, in the JavaScript domain. However, there are opportunities for other technologies if you voice that um, that's what you're interested in doing. Okay, so next I wanna talk about kind of the organization. So what is it like to work here? How does everyone get along? And sort of where maybe you fit in um, in the context of the organization. So like most modern companies uh, that are mid-sized, we actually have a really flat hierarchy. Uh, this means that there's no one who's like a super manager person who's way over you and you have to answer to them. And then there's like a ladder to climb. We don't really have that. There are people who are managers and leaders, but most of the time you're able to speak to them pretty much as you would any other peer. The good thing about this is that it means on any project, you're able to give input and you're able to say what you think will be the best solution. And people will discuss it and take it seriously. It won't be like um, the super elite manager tells you to do something, therefore you need to do it. Um, that's not how it works here at all. Uh, we value everyone's opinions, and that's exactly why we have the cadences I mentioned earlier, so that basically, um, whenever you see there's something wrong, uh, you can pitch in. However, 
um, there's two types of cadences. There's um, internal ones, which are, sorry, not internal. There's client um, cadences, which are the ones we talked about earlier. And there's also company cadences, which Trippy is going to talk about a little bit later, that we use in order to have everyone have their voice heard. And these are come in the form of engineering retros and quarterly town halls. Basically, um, what I would say is that we like people who are proactive and that want to make company culture better. And so basically, the more that you want to be heard and the more that you want to be involved in this organization, the better you'll, you'll fit into tribal scale, really. Cool. So I talked a little bit about our technology. I talked a little bit about the work. Uh, I want to talk now a little bit about um, some projects we've done in the past that are pretty cool and that I wanted to feature. I picked a couple of mobile apps just because they fit in the slide nicely and I kind of liked how they looked, but they are really interesting projects that I think you'll find are cool. Um, one of our cooler apps that we made is for a company called St. Hubert. If any of you guys have ever been to Swiss Chalet, it's basically Montreal, uh, the French, the Quebec Swiss Chalet. Like it's the same company, but the, they just have two different names, Swiss Chalet and St. Hubert. And uh, yeah, we actually built this app in Flutter. Uh, we don't have quite as much demand for Flutter as React Native, but um, it kind of just shows that, you know, if the right tool for the job isn't necessarily something we always work with, we're still willing to kind of go for it if uh, it makes sense in the context of what we're doing. And this was a really cool project that we took on. Uh, another cool one that I wanted to highlight was Wave Financial, which is um, sort of a fintech. Um, yeah, it would be a fintech app, definitely. And what it does is basically it allows small businesses to get bank accounts really quickly. Um, it's really complex. It had a number of API integrations with companies like Shopify, Stripe, BitPay, and Square. And at the end, actually, um, between us and the company that was our client, um, I think we had some stake in it. And the app was actually sold. And TravelScale was able to kind of profit off that um, in our first exit from FinTech. So as you can see, we have pretty diverse portfolio of apps, everything from restaurants to FinTech. Uh, we have other apps and like fitness. Basically tribal scale pretty much does anything and everything. So the diverse amount of apps that you're able to take on is a lot. And um, you should hopefully be able to find something that suits your interests. Okay, so I'm gonna hand it back to Tripti to talk about the tribal scale company cadences. Okay, uh, thanks Dan. So so tribal scale has a few company cadences, uh, as Dan has mentioned earlier, that we have like, two types of cadences. So one of them is company cadence. So uh, an important part of part of agency work is that you're not getting C load into your small group. So that is the main motivation for creating a, some company cadences. Also, tribal scale has a culture, you know, that welcomes your ideas and your entrepreneurial spark. Uh, so you can uh, think of tribal scale culture as more of a motivating company culture by calling it maybe exciting, activating, or driven. Um, so what makes us say so? Uh, so one thing is that we make sure that we grow as developers, QAs, project manager, managers, et cetera, by communicating and sharing our learnings from various projects. Also, we share with each other on few of the following meetings. One is the company standup. So every Monday and Friday, we have a morning standup where we share news, announcements, Kudos, we, may, we want to make sure that, you know, if someone has done a good job, they should feel appreciated. So appreciation is a really big part of tribal scale. Uh, and also we uh, share our fail fast. If we did something and we, uh, we feel that, you know, someone else can learn from our mistake, we don't believe in hiding it. We want to share it and we share it with everyone. And every Friday we have company demos. So in company demos, we showcase all the work that we have done in the whole week from Monday to Friday, which is a way of making sure that we know, you know, what new technologies are being implemented by the other teams, as well as, you know, it's a chance to showcase our own work. It's more like a learning process for everyone. Then we have engineering team retros, uh, where we can, uh, where we get a chance to give suggestions based on, you know, things which can make our and other engineers life easier. So if we feel that a specific tool is much more easier uh, you know, for a specific kind of task, then we can suggest that. And the uh, managers, they make sure that, you know, it has, it gets implemented as a part of our daily activities or as a part of our daily work. Then we have town halls. In town halls, we get a chance to voice our opinion about bringing forth positive changes. And we also have lunch and learns. 
So in Lunch and Learns, uh, we, it's basically a learning session given by anyone. If you feel there is something uh, that you know, which from which others can benefit, like you can also conduct a Lunch and Learn session and people would be happy to, uh, you know, attend it. And, uh, and if it's in the Lunch and Learn sessions, it's not just about the engineering part. It can be about writing emails, which is, which as a software developer, I feel is very, very important part, especially when communicating with clients or it can be about making a presentation, something like this, what we are giving you today. Uh, so it is a very uh, lunch and learn sessions. So, so, and depending on uh, your interest, you, uh, you can attend whichever you want to. Uh, can we go to the next slide, Dan? So now, uh, personally, I feel that, you know, finding a company with a great culture and team members, which make us feel comfortable is one of the most important part of, a place where I would want to, you know, do a job or where I would want to work. And so at tribal scale, we make sure that, you know, you feel a part of the tribe, especially with all the events that we organize. Uh, so we usually organize in-person socials uh, in which we get to know about other tribe members uh, because as a part of working remote, we might not be able to interact with uh, other teams. So the in-person socials, they give us a chance to, you know, uh, interact with all the tribe members. Then we have uh, organized occasional escape room activities. Uh, then there are dinners to get to know the members of the tribe better. So this dinner can be either with your team or the people of other team, which is again, a very good way of knowing all the tribe members. Uh, then a tribal scale, as I mentioned earlier, that uh, appreciation is a very big part of our culture. So on, we had an employee appreciation uh, day. And as a part of that, all of us got snack boxes from all around the world, which were pretty cool. Uh, and also we get tribal scale swag, which is like t-shirts, water bottles, keychains, et cetera, which are pretty cool. And we play online games as well. So for those of you who are interested in playing games, we have Waddle, Bingo, GeoGuessr, et cetera. And, uh, and if you're interested in watching movies, then we organize uh, virtual movie nights as well occasionally. Uh, uh, so that's it from our end. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them.